All right, so this is the long requested, long awaited NFL pick video that a lot of people have been asking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, yes, I'm in my car right now because to be honest, it's the only place that's quiet. Uh, if I were to go inside my own house and do it, my roommate's working from home, so I don't want to disturb him. And if I went in the basement, the furnace is on right now and it would sound like a fucking jet engine. So we got the comfort of my own car and I'm going to knock these out for you guys. So starting off Thursday night football, we got a heater. We got the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Giants. Uh, this is by far the trash game of the week. If you ask me, I don't care about either of these teams, nor do I really like them. Carson Wentz has been terrible this year, but Daniel Jones has been far worse. And to be completely honest with you, I think Daniel Jones is one of, if not the worst quarterbacks in the league. He's not developing. He's not getting any better. He looks worse every time I watch him, to be completely honest. I'm going to give this game to the Eagles. We're going to go 24-14 Philadelphia. Sorry if you guys see me looking around everywhere. I'm just literally doing this in the middle of my parking lot, so it's a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, next up, we got the Saints and the Panthers. Now, this game's going to be a lot closer than people think, but uh, I think the Saints are going to win. I'll give it to the Saints at the end, 24-17. Uh, I'll go Saints. Uh, I just think the Panthers are going to ride them a little bit. The Panthers actually are not doing that bad at all. Teddy has made some really questionable throws, but other than that, the Panthers have looked pretty good, and the Saints haven't looked all that great. The Saints obviously put every penny they have into this year to try to win that Super Bowl, and they're not going to win it this year, and then they're going to have to free $90 million worth of cap space next year, so I'm not really sure what the hell their plan is, but uh, yeah, I'll give it to the Saints, like I said, 24-17. All right, next up, we got the Bills and the Jets. Everybody knows I'm a huge Bills fan. I love the Bills, and I'll just I'll eliminate this question right away. Uh, what? Who is my favorite team? So here is your answer. I am a Bills and a Vikings fan. The reason I'm a fan of two teams is because I live in Minnesota, so the Vikings will always have my heart at home, but I've loved the Bills ever since I got into football as a kid. I liked their uniforms. I liked their logo. I liked everything about them. I stuck with them, so the Bills are remaining you know, my, my team. I love the Bills. Uh, with that being said, yes, the Bills, now, given they did play the Chiefs not all that terribly, I think they only allowed like 26 points or something like that, they did lose uh, Josh. Josh didn't look that great, uh, you know, compared to what he has in previous weeks, but I'm not too worried about it. I think that this is going to be a damn blowout. Um, I'll be somewhat realistic, though. I'll go 24-7 Buffalo. I don't know. And by the way, I, I, I hate Joe Buck. I absolutely hate him. I was watching that game, the Chiefs and the Bills, and Josh Allen overthrows Stephon Diggs once, and Joe Buck goes on about calling him a piece of shit, like he's a bad player or something like that. Patrick Mahomes overthrows Travis Kelsey by a mile. You know what? It's the weather's fault then. That just it's, that was real fucking shady. Joe Buck, you're a piece of shit for that. But yes, Bills are going to beat the Jets. I'm going to go 24-7. to The Bengals versus the Browns is what we have next. Uh, this one's going to be... I, again, I think a lot closer than people think. Uh, Cleveland looked horrible last week. Baker looked terrible. Their whole team looked horrible. Like, they got blown out. They got destroyed. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a reoccurring thing with them. I think they're going to bounce back. I, I do think Cleveland will win this game. If you see a bunch of cut commentary, that's because I'm stumbling over my words left and right right now. This is terrible. Anyway, I do think Cleveland will win this game. I'm going to go 24-17. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty close the whole way, but Cleveland will pull ahead at the end and just kind of keep that lead until the clock runs out. Next up, we got Cowboys in Washington. Now, this is even funnier because normally on any given day, I would say that uh, Dallas is going to steamroll them, but <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, I, I think I think Dallas will win. I think it's going to be really close. Andy Dalton does not look great. Dallas's defense looks absolutely terrible right now. Washington's defense really isn't all that bad. I just think that Dallas has, even with Dak out, they have just a way better offense. I'm going to give this game to Dallas. Uh, I don't know what's a good score for this one. I, uh, let's go 24-13. I'll give it to Dallas. Packers, Texans we got next. I'm going to go Green Bay on this one. Uh, there's just no way that that happens again. Uh, I, I, You know, anybody that had watched that game, I was super excited for it too. And I actually, I had picked the Packers to completely just blow out the Buccaneers. I thought it was going to be flip-flopped. I thought that the Packers and the Bucks were going to be absolutely flip-flopped. I thought that the Packers were going to have a very promising and demanding win on them. And now I just said I'm a Vikings fan, I'm, I'm, but I'm honest. I'm brutally honest. Uh, Green Bay is really, really good this year. Tampa Bay is good too, but the way Rodgers looked in the first five weeks, he just or the first four weeks, he looked just way too sharp that I, I thought they were going to go out there and kick their asses. Now, that didn't happen. Aaron threw two picks and basically mentally checked out. I mean, that's what it looked like to me. But uh, I'm going to go Green Bay. They're going to beat the Texans. It's going to be a high-scoring game. Uh, 
Texans can play. Uh, they score. Deshaun Watson's king at that. He's king. He's king at making something out of nothing. He always has been. He always will be. Uh, I'm going to go Green Bay is going to win this game. I'm going to go 28 to 17. Uh, I don't want to say that Houston will score 21 points because Green Bay does have that really good defense, but it's going to be a game that's going to be kind of a high scoring one. So yeah, I'm going to go Green Bay 28 17. Lions Falcons we have next. Ah, wow. I don't really even know where to start on this. The Falcons, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they, they shit on my Vikings. I, I, there's no hope. I hate Kirk Cousins. I, I'm not very happy with Mike Zimmer right now either, although Mike Zimmer is not the problem. You look at Mike Zimmer, he has two NFC North titles with the likes of Teddy Bridgewater, Sam Bradford, Sean Hill, Matt Castle. You know, you got all those guys, and then you get, you know, you get the great Kirk Cousins, and you fucking suck. Oh, we're back on the Lions and the Falcons. I completely even lost track because I'm so pissed off about Minnesota right now. Um... The Falcons' defense is just too bad. Uh, I'm going to go Detroit. I think it's going to be an absolute shootout. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go... Shit, what's a good one here? 35-28 Detroit. That's what I'm seeing right now. I think it's going to be an absolute shootout. It's going to be a very entertaining game, but I'm going to go Detroit in an, an absolute shootout. 35-28. Uh, I know that sounds ridiculous, but uh, Stafford and Gall uh, Kenny Galladay, anybody who has Kenny Galladay in fantasy, you're going to want to play him. You're going to want to play him, and you're going to want to play him all day. Next up, we have what should be uh, the game of the week. Uh, by the looks of it, my schedule is down here. That's why I'm kind of looking right now. Got the Steelers and the Titans. That really needs to be switched to a 3 o'clock game for America's game of the week. Uh, two 5-0 and teams. Why they're not prime time, I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to go Pittsburgh on this one. I think it's going to be good. I just... You look at the two teams, and, uh, you know, Tennessee has been elite this year. They've been so good. Derrick Henry has been good. Ryan Tannehill, I have shit on him time and time again. Ryan Tannehill has looked fucking excellent this year. And then you got the Pittsburgh Steelers. To me, it seems like one of those things that uh, they're, they're going to be the team to beat this year. They might be the best team in the league right now. Uh, their defense is undoubtedly the best, which is the reason why I'm having them one-up the Titans because I think their defense is a step ahead. Now, they don't have a Derrick Henry. They have James uh, James Conner. James Conner is not even close to Derrick Henry. But I, I, I just see, I see Pittsburgh coming ahead. I, I see some trickery with Claypool happening. I'm seeing Juju having a good day. Maybe get Ebron involved a little bit. James Conner, uh, I think it's going to be a kind of a low-scoring affair. Maybe not a snooze fest, but I'm going to go 24-17 Pittsburgh. Next up, we got the Seahawks Cardinals. This is going to be my hot take of the week. I'm going Arizona on this one. Uh, I have reasoning behind that because Seattle's defense is terrible. I think they do have Jamal back now. I don't think that's going to change a whole lot. Uh, I, you look at Seattle, Seattle is barely winning games. Seattle is winning games by a touchdown or less more than half of the time. Okay. Arizona has a decently good defense and they have a really good offense now too. And it looks like Kenyon Drake is starting to wake up from the dead a little bit. I do think Arizona is going to win this game. I think it's going to be a very, very high scoring game. Uh, I'm going to go Arizona is going to win this game. Mm, gosh, what should I give them? I'm going to say 31 to 28. I'll give it to them by a field goal. Uh, I think that, by the way, you put any, you put Kirk Cousins on the Seahawks, the Seahawks are 0 and 5. You put uh, Sam Darnold on the Seahawks, Seahawks are 0 and 5. You put Jimmy Garoppolo on the Seahawks, the Seahawks are definitely 0 and 5. Five. Russell Wilson makes that team, by the way. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Their defense is terrible. They're barely winning games. The only reason they're winning games is because their quarterback is absolutely elite. But yes, uh, back on the thing, I'm going to go 31-28 Cardinals. Shootout, going to be a good game. Next up, we got the Chiefs and the Broncos. Uh, the Broncos, yeah, they, they went and they beat New England. To be completely honest, New England didn't even look like a team. They looked terrible. They looked, Their offense was not clicking on any cylinders. Their defense completely fell apart. Um, I'm going to go Kansas City winning this game 24 to 14. Uh, I, I just, just what I see. And you know, the more and more I, you know, like I, I watched the Bills game, obviously I'm a Bills fan. You know, the more I watch Patrick Mahomes, the more I realize one thing about him. The guy has all the time in the world. He has all the time in the world. He's never under pressure. Send the whole house at him. The guy is still trotting around in the back because his offensive line has just been so solid for him. And not the fact that if his, uh, if his offensive line does get broken apart, he scrambles. He can scramble. He can run. He can look. He can scramble. And from any given direction, planking on the field or not, he can throw a 70-yard bomb. 
you know, I have Kansas City winning this game and I have them winning with ease. Chargers, Jaguars. Uh, I think Justin Herbert will get his first win as an NFL starter this game. Jaguars, uh, they haven't been nearly as bad as I thought they'd be, but they're not good. They're not good at all. Justin Herbert's looked really sharp. He's just been playing some well, pretty decent teams, to be completely honest with you. But I'm going to give this game... I'm going to give this game to the Chargers. I think the Chargers will take this one down. Uh, I think it's going to be you go 20 to 14. 20 to 14, the Chargers should beat the uh, the Jaguars here. But Next up, 49ers, Patriots. I'm going to predict an absolute snooze fest here. I think this game is going to be as boring as it can get. I Personally, I think the, the 49ers are the most boring team to watch ever. I think Jimmy G, I don't think he's good. I don't think Kyle Shanahan thinks he's good. I don't think they trust his arm. Actually, hell, I know they don't trust his arm. I don't, I don't like, I, I love Kyle Shanahan. They have such a good defense, but their offense is so unbelievably boring to watch that I don't, I, I will not watch the game. If it's on TV, I'm probably not going to watch it because they bore me to death. And then the, uh, the Patriots, the Patriots look terrible this year too. They look horrible. Like I said, last week versus the Broncos, their offense was, I mean, the lights were on, no one was home. Their defense wasn't clicking at all. I'm, I'm going to give this game to San Francisco in a very, very boring game. I'll go 17-14 San Francisco. Sunday night, <clears throat> the late game. We got Tom Brady taking on the Vegas Raiders. Now, going to be a lot closer than people think, and I would not be shocked. I would not be shocked one bit if the Raiders win. Do I think the Raiders are going to win? Absolutely not. I think that the Buccaneers are going to win by a considerable amount. Derek Carr has been looking sharp. The Raiders haven't been bad. They haven't been looking very bad at all. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if there was an upset here. I don't think it's going to happen. I, I think the Buccaneers are going to win this game. I think they're going to beat them. Uh, I think it's going to be like a 28-17 type of thing. Uh, I don't I don't know. Like I said, I wouldn't be shocked if somehow uh, Vegas did upset them, but I'm not picking them. I'm picking Tampa Bay here. And like I said, I'll go with 28-17. Monday night, we got the Bears facing the Rams. I'm going to take the Rams 20-14 to here. Uh, these are extremely similar teams. I just think that the Rams have a little bit of a better offense. I'm going to give them that edge. I think the Rams will defeat the Bears. To be completely honest with you, I do hate the Bears, and I'm not even being biased. I still don't view them as a 5 and one team. They just don't They don't look like it to me. I don't know what it is that I'm just not clicking with the Bears, but I don't think the Bears look like a 5 and one football team. And I do think that they're going to lose. I think they're doing good. I think they're going to lose, however. I think the Rams are going to beat them. So. All right, guys, that was my week seven picks. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Come back next week to find out how I did. I could be really good. I could be really bad. Who knows? Uh, I'm taking a risk, and I'm just doing something that you guys asked me to do. So, uh, yeah, this is a video for you guys. I hope you guys appreciated it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subs. That's insane. You know, I never, I never thought YouTube would turn into anything for me. You know, I, I was on TikTok making sports videos, and I decided to upload them on YouTube when the possibility of TikTok getting shut down was a thing. And um, yeah, it turns out that TikTok stayed up and people have found uh, my videos on YouTube and seem to like them too. And uh, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. I, I like the freedom on YouTube. I like the freedom to be able to say what I want, do what I want, make videos as long as I want. I think that's awesome. And as long as these videos keep, you know, doing well with you guys, I'll continue to make them. So Anyway, again, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subs. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like my video, please feel free to drop a sub. It means a ton to me. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys next week, hopefully with a pretty good record on these picks. So you guys have a good one.